Today, we're working with our friends at Mankato Motorsports in Mankato, Minnesota. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in Ride, and today we're here at Mankato Motorsports in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota with Kale. Yes. Kale, thanks for having us here today. Thanks for coming. And we're here to take a look at the 2021 Defender Limited, yep. which is like everyone's dream about a utility vehicle. Talk about having luxury along with uh, just really good utility. Yeah. So on the Defender Limited, there are some things that come standard. Uh, and we're going to start with, I, I call it the bull bar, but yep. Yep. Um, you've also got holes in the front. Uh, if you want to mount, uh, you sell a bunch of accessories here. Yes, LED light bars is kind of the idea. You'd put a light bar in the front okay. here, give you a little more visibility at night. And we'll show you when we get on the inside, but there's always some pre-made holes for switches that you can add. Uh, so you can have actual switches. You're not drilling into your dashboard Correct. to put those in. Yep. Now you also have a, 40, a standard, a 4,500 pound winch. Yes. And then this of course is not standard. No, we added the uh, 72 inch hydraulic plow kit here. And it is run off a toggle switch inside the cab. Uh, you can actually raise and lower the winch with that switch as well as hydraulically angle the blade. Okay, so what you're saying is on the inside, there's one switch that runs it all. Yes, sir. So even though it's, so wow, so it's hooked, so one, le like left to right is yep. hydraulic and up and down is the winch. Yes. That is really nice. I was kind of thinking they'd have two different uh, toggles to run that, but that is really sweet. Correct. Okay, uh, and this is, happens to be a six foot blade. Yes. And it is a, it is a, a Can-Am product, so it's designed and made to go with uh, the, 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 the Defender. Yep. Okay. Another thing about this is, you know, you've got these arched A-arms yes. in the front. Tell us a little bit about those. So the idea behind an arched A-arm uh, is, is more ground clearance, you know, mm -hmm. easier going over obstacles, you know, whether you're plowing snow, going through snow drifts, or, you know, if you're off-roading, uh, going down a trail, you know, clearing logs, rocks, things like that. So <laughs> I can definitely, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I've been over one too many rocks, and my <laughs> A-arms are not arched. So that is, that, I really like that. You also have a, the LED lighting on this. So you've got a uh, high beam, low beam. You've got, uh, uh, would be what, daytime running lights? Yes, yeah, exactly, like you'd have in a vehicle. Okay, and so uh, we'll switch those on real quick and just show them to you. That is just really neat. Yeah, so you're toggling between high beams, low beams, and then obviously your, your daytime running lights are on there as well. That is just really neat. Okay, I will uh, turn that back off again, but... Oh, okay, uh, and coming around the side a little bit, this has got a fully enclosed cap. Yes, correct. So, you know, and, and it's insulated. Yes. Um, we can see a little bit of the insulation. Uh, if we open up the door right here, you can kind of see it's kind of got some gray material uh, in here. And it's, you know, it's interesting. It's not, I mean, it's, it's plasticky, but it's not a hard plastic feel. It almost feels soft. Yeah. I don't know what they used on here, but it doesn't feel like your car, a uh, plastic you'd have in your car's dashboard. Yep, yep, exactly. A little more forgiving, a little easier to clean as well. That's uh, okay. kind of the idea there. Not so crude um, since it is the interior finish of the vehicle. Now, you, it, it does have a really nice look to it. You have uh, power, yes, power up and down, yes, <laughs> yes. front windows, uh, and of course the door handle. Uh, you've got the the uh, door latch here, and then you've got some extra storage down in yep, here. Yep. And you know the passenger's, passenger's door is just the same. It's just that it has one power button. All right. If we can walk back here. Okay. So one of the other things that's new on the 2021s mm -hmm. is all the heat shielding. Yes. And uh, so it, it's it, if if I'm correct, it's on it's here on the muffler. It's also here on the driver's wall. Mm -hmm. And then it's back up in here, yep. which does a couple of things. A, it reduces heat inside the cab, yep. but B, it reduces noise. Yes. They, they, they say these are one of the quietest cabs to ride in. Yes, by far, in, in the past few years, this is by far the quietest Defender cab model they have, they have made with all the heat uh, precautions they've taken. All right, <laughs> so um, what, can you walk us around just a little bit of the engine setup and what's all in yeah, here? Yeah, so real easy access points. Uh, we already had the, the box tipped up. Um, there's a pin that holds the box uh, down. Um, easier maintenance uh, when you flip that up here uh, to work on either engine or maintaining uh, components here. 
Uh, you can see up on top here we have uh, easy access to your, your windshield washer fluid, which mm, has a windshield nice. wiper kit, a uh, year coolant bottle, the air filter's tucked up. Uh, just behind the firewall there as well, up high, you know, out of the debris mm -hmm. and uh, able to suck clean air. Um, CVT transmission uh, is over here. Uh, you have your air intake up quite high for that. Which would give you a lot of clearance for water. Exactly. Crossings. Yeah. yeah, realistically, I mean, you can get the tires wet, you know. Yeah. And as long as wow. you're, you're below the tire line, you're good. Yep. So. Okay, let's, let's, uh, put, can we get the bed down? Yes. I like that quick detach like that. Right. That that is nice. So uh, the bed itself. Um, tell us about how many pounds it holds, and then there's a different weight for the tailgate too. Yes, which you know. So the the tailgate can hold 250 pounds on its own. Yes. So you and a couple of your friends can sit on there. Just make sure they're skinnier than you are. <laughs> That's what I say. Uh, okay, tell us about the how much weight you can hold in the back of the bed here. Yes, the the dump box is designed to hold a thousand pounds, wow. up to a thousand pounds. Uh, they have some nice features inside the box. Yes, uh, you can see here. There's four different spots for a five gallon bucket uh, to rest and not slide about the box. Uh, what? Yeah, go ahead. You'll also see the the hooks here to strap in cargo, uh, whether it be uh, you know a deer or. or wood or you know whatever you're hauling in, mm -hmm. in your in your dump box um, there are some additional options to add other accessories here uh, with their link cargo system uh, you can put bed wall extenders here a headache rack to protect the automotive rear glass panel there and you know hang chainsaws or gun mounts right. things like that just that. about anything yeah and you offer those accessories here as well. We do, yep. yep. So Full if you're catalog. actually close, so if you come down to Mankato uh, Motorsports, you can actually get it here and yep. order it from we'll you We'll order it online, yeah, we'll send it to you. Okay, so to, to open this, uh, there's a, just a, a really nice BRP handle. Yeah, single right? lever, yes. Uh, which I like. And then uh, you've got the typical, just the, it's a chains covered in a nice rubber coating here. Correct. But that that's just, I, you know, these also come off, right? Yes, you can take so the tailgate off. So then you can take the tailgate off completely if you want to. You bet. Yeah, I noticed you have a couple of cup holders in the in the in the tailgate itself. Yeah, they kind of thought of everything when they designed this box. So you can hold up to 250 pounds on this tailgate, as you mentioned before. Um, there's also a tape measure oh, that's engraved right. in the back edge I, there. That's really nice, and it's not all that heavy. No, no, super open. light and real convenient that there's only one lever to open it. All right, so tell us about the, 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 the hitch size, hitch receiver size and its towing capacity. Yes, standard two-inch receiver. Uh, Which you know, is great. Let's say you unload this thing off your trailer and need to hook up a different trailer, take it out of your pickup, you know, and throw yep. that receiver in here. Same style, two inch. Uh, the machine will tow 2,500 pounds. That's amazing. So. That's just really neat. All right, let's, um, Let's step in, uh, over here to the cab. Oh, uh, one more thing here. The, the, the one thing about the, the Defender Limited. Yes. And I think on the XT as well is that you, the, the side cards are the same color as the front. Yep. So you get, if you, you know, and it comes in, um, is it Hyper Silver? Hyper Silver. Uh, and there's a, there's a camo. Cam, there, yep, there's a camo moss. Mossy oak, uh, and then there's, there's a new Oxford blue. Oxford blue. Really sharp blue. Which is really sharp. We saw one when we were here a couple weeks ago. Yes. Fell in love with that color. This is a very sharp color, too. Yeah, it's nice. It's automotive style paint, so you won't see the scratching as you would with a standard in mold uh, finished plastic. Um, real durable. Nice. The, uh, the fuel tank, of course, is down here. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's, let's open the door here. Sure. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay, where where to start, right? Yeah. But there are just some there are some new things. Correct. Um, the seats had the leather inserts in them before, but they weren't bolstered. Correct. You'll see the little lip here on the seat, the driver and and the passenger seat, a little more comfortable seat. And if you you look at the backrest here, it's the same deal, a little bolster here as well. Um, just keeps you more comfortable on the trails. I mean, it's a sport and utility machine at that point. It's a real nice comfort. And there ride. are seat belts for all th all three seats. Exactly. Yep. There's one in the middle for your your center yep. rider as well. A um, couple other neat features of the seats. Uh, the driver and the passenger seat here, or I'm sorry, the passenger seats both flip up. Uh, and you can see there's a storage container under under one of the seats. Okay, and that's about a two gallon, if I remember right. No, it's more than two gallons. It's like a six gallon. I can't remember. It's several gallons storage container, and it's waterproof. Waterproof storage, correct. 
And this baby actually comes out too. You can open it up in the cab or just take it with you when you need to go take your lunch somewhere. Which is really nice. And in case someone's sitting in the passenger seat who, who also wants theirs, you know, they can have the little smaller one that pulls yeah. out. Yeah, this comes right out too. And that's yeah. a one point, that one's like a 1 1.6 gallon. So I think you're correct. And that's water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant. Right, right. Okay, and then of course you do have another uh, storage, like a cubby, actual cubby. So lots of storage right in the cab. Yes. Now, let's talk about cup holders for a minute because there are actually four cup holders in the cab. Yep, two that okay. you can see. Yep, and where are the other two? The other two are behind the backrest slash armrest uh, for the center passenger. Nice. So you got two extra cup holders there. You've got storage, but if you want to, use, you can just use it as the armrest. Correct. Notice, I mean, I notice even just the built-in little uh, soft spot right here. Yep. For the drivers. That's oh wow. Okay, let's talk about some of the other features out here because um, let, let's start with the windshield. Yeah. The windshield uh, does it. There's two di two different things you can do. So yeah, th actually three position okay, windshield. Three. You have closed. Partial open, let okay. a little air flow through, or you have full extension. Hinges hold the window up. You can actually drive down the road with the window open. Man. Pretty slick deal. Now, how hard is it to reach and grab that thing? A little bit of a stretch, but if it's you're not, not moving, bad, if you're not moving, it's pretty easy. And the first position is locked. So Correct. It, that's you know you, you're if you didn't see it in the video, it's it's locked and from the front, so or from the inside. Okay, now uh, back to the inside. All right, so, Kale, um, you were kind of left to let me sit in the driver's seat, so I, <laughs> I appreciate that. This seat does pull forward and back. It yes. does slide. Yep. And that one that one pulls up and, and that one pulls up. Correct. This, the passenger seat does not slide. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. So, wh I, I, one of the unique things, and it's really an industry first, mm -hmm. is the auto air conditioning and climate system here, auto heat and air conditioning. So... Walk us through how that works, where the air goes, and how you control it. Correct. So, real simple, power button here on the right. Uh, this toggle button does three different things. You can control your fan speed, you can control your temperature, uh, and you can control whether you want heat, uh, cold air, or if you want to set on the auto feature. Uh, you have four um, blowers in the front here, and then you also have two uh, defrosters. Uh, pointing at the windshield. Which are right up in here. Yes. Now, there was these part of the window latch that goes in. This is another way to shut the vents on or off. Or what? I'm not sure what that. Oh, I thought I'd seen that in another video where they shut those off. These here close. You can okay. close your vents. Passenger wants to be a little colder, a little warmer. They can control their own, own vents there. So. so you've got four vents. I mean, it's like a car. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Okay, uh, so it, it gets even more car-like in, in a lot of ways. Um, so down here, you've got controls for your digital dash. Yes. And this is a, this is uh, an option, but it comes standard in the Limited, yes. right? Yes, yep. Um, and, it, and I think there's an option to get it in some of the lower trim models, not like the, uh, is the XT or is it? Correct, the, basically any XT model in the up. Defender lineup and up will have We'll have this, this same style okay. toggle as well as that same style digital display. Yeah, I mean, th so okay, walk us through what this does. Yeah, so you'll have your trip meter uh, as you do in a lot of off-road vehicles, and you'll also have uh, a driving mode button, which is uh, kind of unique to Can-Am. Uh, you can select between an eco, eco off, or a work mode. Um, eco off is going to give you more power than eco mode would. We'll say better fuel economy, right? Uh, and then your work mode. Let's say you're plowing the driveway, put it in work mode, it, it gives you more low end power. Um, it, it just gives you that much more boost to, to uh, get the job done. Okay. Tell us about the trip button. Yes, trip button. Uh, left hand side of the screen, you can control trip A, trip B, look at your odometer, um, clear, you know, clear your trip rides, yep. you know, how much ground you covered that day. Uh, and then the menu button here, you can control the diagnostic screen and, and look at all your, your diagnostics, engine temp, things like that. So as you scroll through, as you're driving, right? You're not seeing yeah. change now, but yeah. you would see this whole part of the screen change. 100%. And then, of course, on the far left, you have a fuel gauge. Yep. And the far right is an engine temp gauge. Correct. Okay, as well as a clock. Yes. 
Now, um, the gear selector lever is just right up here next to the dash. Yeah. And your basic select, I mean, is it your basic selections that you would normally think? Yes, park, reverse, neutral, high and low range. Okay, you do have a high and a low range, and it's right in this gear. Correct. Okay, because yeah. some of the, you know, some older models, when they, you know, when uh, they were the utility vehicles were first being made, they had the separate thing, but they had a separate levers for low speed. Yep. Or, or to lock the, uh, the, the, uh, the rear axle or something. Speaking of which, tell us about the CVT on this and, and about the, the uh, uh, I believe it's called the uh, VisLock. Oh yes, the VisColock. Okay. So in, in the front differential, we're, we're talking four wheel drive, two wheel drive here now. There is a, a toggle switch here to select from two wheel to four wheel drive. Uh, you'll also have, we'll talk about the rear diff first here. Um, rear differential lock, this is a neat feature. It's essentially a turf mode that will unlock the rear differential and only have one wheel turning the machine. So you're not ripping up your lawn as you go, which anyone who has a utility vehicle, you've seen it. Correct. The yeah. neighbor comes oh, yeah. over, takes a turn on your lawn to go home, doesn't do it aggressively, but still rips up your lawn. Yeah, leaves some marks. So real neat feature, uh, nice to have in a Defender. Uh, and then you mentioned the Visco lock. So if you're in four wheel drive and uh, you come up to a log or a stump, let's say that right wheel is just hung up spinning, it will actually transfer power, Viscolock will, to the left wheel and engage that wheel and get you over that obstacle. All automatic. There's no buttons to push okay. uh, or anything like that. Now, um, this is your controller for your plow. Correct, yeah. Which, nice clean finish. Yeah, One fits switch. right in. It, it, look, it looks like, you, so left, right would be just the control for Angling, left, right. Yeah, yeah, actually do it. So, you, you can do it. Wow. That's pretty quick as well. Oh, okay. That's a, that, that is quick. Oh, yeah. That's really quick. Yep. That's way faster than I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive. Oh, wow. Hey, you can get some snow moved with that. <laughs> Okay, now, um, over here, this is kind of facing an odd angle, but you do actually have a windshield wiper and... And washer kit, yeah. And yep. a washer kit. Yep, so we had looked at the, where the washer fluid goes here behind the right. box, uh, and you just hold this here button down, and that will allow your wiper to go, and you hold it down, and, and the uh, windshield washer fluid will come out. Now, above that, you have... Um, it's preset for adding something. So looks like maybe a stereo setup and some extra switches. Tell us about this area. Yeah, so right from the factory, you have your front headliner here and your rear headliner. Uh, the front headliner is already, we'll say, uh, pre-molded for a, a factory stereo to be installed. You'd have your head unit going here and your two speakers uh, as well. Um, these here would be blank uh, switches. You can pull them out and, and add actual toggle switch for your light bars or, or whatever you have. Um, accessory lighting, things like that. So, uh, wow, really nice. Okay, now uh, you also have a 12 volt outlet down here, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, and then um, as far as um, so over here, we can see you know that you can see the headlight switch, and then of course the hydraulic in and out switch right here. Yep. Uh, which is handy to have that now. Um, all right, so this also is, I want to mention, a tilting steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. So the lever is just right down here, and then you can, I, it's a pull, oh, it's a pull up, and then, boy, you've got quite... There's quite a lot a, of adjustability quite a, there. Quite yeah, a bit of sure. adjustment in there for different heights, and that with the adjustable driver's seat is, wow, that's perfect. You know, what, what, what an amazing, <laughs> what an amazing vehicle. I mean, you, you have um, all the comforts of home. You've got your power windows. You've got, you know, your auto climate control yeah, for yeah. your temperature. You never don't even have to touch it. You know, four wheel drive, easy on the grass. You can. You have lots of attachments you can add to it. All right. So one of the other things that's obvious that we've had it on for a while here. Yeah. But is this nice dome light right here? Yeah, nice LED dome light. That's uh, bright. Totally functional. Hit the button. Turn it on. Turn it off. Gives you all the light that is you need. Bright. Yeah. I tell you what, what what a beautiful vehicle. I mean, I mean, utilitarian. Yeah. Completely capable of doing these things, but at the same time, luxurious. Luxurious. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, you're not a kidding me. Wow. And comfortable. And comfortable. Yeah, I've been sitting in the seat for a little bit now, and I I, I like that. 
Yeah, the bolster's nice. Yeah, the bolster's really nice. You, you go from this seat to one that has no bolsters on it, you, you can definitely tell the difference. Night and day. Well, Kale, thank you so much for taking your time yeah. to talk to us about this beautiful 2021 Defender Limited. Absolutely amazing. Thank you thank for you having guys. us. Yeah, thanks for coming. And thanks for watching.